victory. But you'll know it's actually second wave. Third waivers, these guys are email aholics. They'll try and do everything with email. Can you reach a group consensus opinion with email? No. But they'll try. It'll go around the horn, around the horn, around the horn. They'll never get it. So some email's not it for, for a lot of situations, but they'll try. These people are what we also call tweeners. They see both sides of the, the equation. They see the need for detail, but they just as soon have it fast. If you're a third waiver, one of the things you've got to do in these corporate situations is mediate. You've got to try and solve the problems between the fourth and the second waivers. Then, of course, fourth waivers, no detail, very fast, think outside the box. So what's the strongest team? If you're a manager, if you're putting together a team, who do you want? Sorry, you, you said that there's a fifth wave starting. That it's coming. coming in. Yeah. Fifth wave is called integration. We are seeing signs of it, although right now we're still very solid in the fourth wave. Does your, uh, any of you have a car that talks to your house? No? They're designing them. And in fact, uh, some car companies are coming pretty close. An example of integration, and integration is, is linking our systems, your home office system with a work station. A car in the fifth wave world, when you're driving home at 4.30 p.m., as soon as you hit two miles from your house, if the ambient air temperature is below 52 degrees, the heat goes on in your house automatically. You don't touch a button, you don't say a word, it just happens. Home operating systems, you've heard about them. When my 18-year-old daughter comes home at night, I get a text on my BlackBerry that my daughter's home. The house generates that communication. That's helpful, but what I really want to know is when she goes out of the house, that would be more helpful. That's integration. We're connecting the people in systems. Any, any Star Trek fans? I know that's probably too old for you. Oh, a few. Good. <laughs> Live long and prosper. So who are, who are the epitome of integration as far as a race? The Borg. Yeah, the Borg. The collective. That's what this is about. And incidentally, on the way home from work, your car will just take over and it'll turn into the, it'll turn into Smith's and your car will say, please buy two gallons of milk because the fridge told your car you're out of milk. Yeah, it's happening. Uh, great movie on Fifth Wave, if you want to see it, is uh, Minority Report with Tom Cruise. Walks, in the, you know, walks into the gap and this voice says, welcome back. Uh, would you like a pair of chinos to go with that last shirt you bought? Okay, that's, that's integration. Kind of scary because everybody knows everything. I think you act. Like, I just saw a commercial for this new iPhone will be able to control like, turning the lights off in the house. Is that more along the line? Getting there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, more of this, and incidentally, a lot of the companies we work with, like Raytheon and Lockheed Martin, are developing some of these technologies where it'll recognize the patterns too and when you walk in the house lights will go on just because the house senses your iPhone you won't have to touch anything when it's truly integrated so we're getting there so back to the question if I'm putting together a team who do I want on my team all of them second waivers good at interpersonal communication pretty good at dealing with bad news and that kind of stuff fourth waivers that's kind of a weakness for fourth waivers Right? I was driving back from, from Palmdale um, a few months ago and heard an, uh, just on the radio, they said, you know, 14% uh, of people now think it's okay to break up with your partner via text or email. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? And they cited breakupbutler.com, literally a, web a website. Don't write that down, or if you do, that's okay. <laughs> Break up all our time. You can literally, I, can, I, I don't have to break up. I can have somebody else break up for me. How's that for? Okay, that's, yeah. I don't agree with that, but hey, that's okay. But if you're putting together a team, just understand that you are going to be faced with some serious communication challenges because you get into the work environment. You've already seen this maybe with family. One of the takeaways is, what do you fourth waivers need to learn how to do? What's your action item? Say that again, loud. 
Speak to people. Learn how to communicate verbally. What else? Oh, sweet. See, that's prize worthy. Congratulations. You can give it to somebody else. That's okay. You've got to communicate effectively with the, You've got to adjust what you're doing to meet their needs. That's the only way to succeed. Yes. Okay. Um, I would say a, a, uh, a person that has good skills in the fourth way, good interpersonal skills, recognizes that they've got to have everybody kind of jump on board, and you've got good persuasion skills. The problem comes when you plant your feet and say, no, it's got to be my way or the highway. And you'll get into some mentorship programs. Mentoring's a great thing, but you know what? The second waivers, the mentors can actually learn more from the mentees, the fourth waivers, it's got to be a two-way thing. So if you ever get into companies and it's a, you know, you got a second waiver that says, I'm going to impart of you my vast wisdom and knowledge. Time. They can learn more from you than you can from them. Now, yeah, be open to it because you will learn how to function in a kind of political world. Second waivers, much more political. Fourth waivers, Show them your cards. Sec second waivers, you know, knowledge is power, and they, they'll try and use that against you. Sometimes they'll, you know, they, they, don't, they want to protect their knowledge. Fourth waiver is to share it. That's one of the strengths that you have. The multitasking, uh, making use of smaller pieces of time, very sm small blocks of time, that's a fourth wave gift. You'll have to teach that to the second waivers because they're, they're used to the much larger, and they hate the interruptions. Other thoughts or questions just about this concept of waves? Understand that you're going to be sending documents to multi-waved professionals. You may want to think about the document to a multi-waved audience. How is that organized? Can it work? Can you have one document that goes to second, third, fourth waivers that works in a business environment? How? What's it look like? Bullet points. So start it with start it with mains kind of a summary. Bullet points, low level of detail, and then you work down into maybe a higher level of detail so that they can go down as far as they want. References, links to reference information, if they want.